I've been a mum now for almost two months, but it's nearly time for us to go back home to Tennessee. So I thought I would show you guys what my life has been looking like recently these last two months. So Gabe and I went on our first date since Makai was born and it was so much fun. Having a baby definitely means you obviously don't get as much quality time with your significant other. But since I'm a huge quality time girl, I actually think it's better now. Even though I miss how easy it used to be to spend time with Gabe, it makes dates like these really special. We had breakfast, went to an arcade, we laughed so much and it honestly felt like we were newly dating. While we've been figuring out this new life and our new routines, something that we have made a habit of is going on a daily walk. It's felt great for my body, but it's also been really nice quality time as a family. Makaya loves walks and it's been a nice time for Gabe and I to chat. We've also been putting in headphones and listening to audiobooks about families and parenting. My night feedings have been going great too. Makaya is sleeping longer stretches through the night and my breastfeeding is going so, so well. If you watched my last video, you'll know how hard it was for me at the beginning, but it just seems like everything is getting better and better. And then I had a little breakdown. Almost 1.30. This is my breakfast. I'm okay. I love this. It's just, um, I wanted to come on. Oh my gosh. I wanted to film this because this is my first time driving since giving birth, which I don't know why I'm filming, but I thought that was cool. I'm seriously fine. It's really hard to do everything by yourself sometimes. And Gabe is back now. I just feel so much for single parents or like if your partner is at work all day it's like so hard just like trying to get ready to go out to my first appointment i was like why did i even book this appointment i only have a certain amount of time because i don't have any more pumped milk babes using the pumped milk that i had already so i don't have any left so i have like a certain time frame this is my breakfast okay brought it home for me i'm gonna put on some worship music <laughs> Just have a little drive to any parents out there that are also feeling a bit overwhelmed today. We're in this together. I love being a mom and I'm fine. I think it's just the fact that I was like by myself and I tried to shower. I showered for like one minute. Some days are just gonna be more overwhelming than others. Also like I think the no sleep is catching on me because I have headache and I love it. Like I'm, I've had the best month of my life. I know it seems weird because I'm like so emotional. I'm getting my lashes done, which is good that I'm crying. I think I'm just gonna lay there and have a nap. Anyway, I'm gonna drive there now so I get there on time. Okay. Bye. I drove to my appointment and played worship music the whole time and something I realized and it could just be baby brain because all I think about every single day is baby stuff but playing worship music for me was a lot like skin to skin for a baby. Skin to skin is amazing for babies. It just regulates them. I know for Makaya it just completely soothes her and relaxes her and that's exactly how I felt when I was playing worship music. I pulled up to my appointment and I just felt so at peace and so calm. I don't usually get this time every day. If Gabe is home, it's a little easier. I'll like throw on some tinted moisturizer. My car is asleep, so I'm taking the time to just get a little bit more ready today. Getting a shower in the morning, getting myself ready a little bit just really helps me. I don't know, it almost like sets me up. Makes me feel a little bit productive, to be honest. <laughs> Not even small win, calling it a big win. I'm by myself with Micaiah today. Gabe is out at a studio recording his audiobook for his book that's coming out. We were just doing that yesterday too, and already today is like so much better than yesterday. It's about 12.30. I just walked to get some breakfast. I just realized it's 12.30. I haven't had any water today. There's really one thing I have to get better at. I drink lots of water like naturally, literally my favorite drink. Now taking care of her, I forget to drink water in the morning. There's an egg shortage here. We had dinner with my parents and my dad was playing piano and singing for a bit and Micaiah loved it and it was just such a special memory for me because I always grew up listening to my dad playing and singing and so it was just so precious to me that he was playing and singing for his granddaughter. Illusions, 
I'm excited to officially be off my maternity leave that I took. I'm back working with Casetify again. You guys know I've worked with them a bunch. So Casetify's cases now have this new technology. So it's EcoShock technology. And basically it has optimized their protection to 11.5 feet. And basically they say that it has five times military standard. Basically that means it's been drop tested 130 times. So it all sounds very cool. Just like very even more protective, very even more protective. Even with all of the extra protection that they've added, they're still sleek and like they're not like bulky cases or anything and they also have new iPhone 14 cases which are made of 65% recycled materials and they're also partially made of upcycled phone cases which I love it's part of their recasetify program that they have so these are the new cases that I picked up I also got one as a gift for my sister which she was so excited about love this one it says love yourself which I know it's not a Justin Bieber reference but to me it is so all you need to do is I'll leave the link down below but it's casetify.com slash Jess C and once you click that link, that'll automatically give you 15% off in your cart. So definitely recommend if you need a gift for someone or if you're upgrading to the new iPhone. Thank you, Case to Buy, for sponsoring this video and for making great phone cases. What? What is it? Today, Makai and I are going to do our six week checkup. So I'm really excited because I would really love to start working out again. I'm thinking of starting like Pilates. I did one Pilates class before I got pregnant and I loved it. And then I just didn't, um, while I was pregnant, I didn't do it. Just fed Makaya, so she just had a little bit of a spit up. That's okay, we've got a bib on. Hello, what are you? Yeah, that's a beautiful smile. Did you have a good day so far? That's great. Did you do some tongue time? I love you. Makaya, yes I do, yeah. I'm at my parents, um, they aren't home. I've let myself in. Gabe has gone to get a haircut, just me and Micaiah. He is fast asleep. Um, I just wanted to come sit outside with her for a little bit. Oh, I think it's gonna start raining. Mom is on her way home from work. She's been so helpful watching Micaiah some afternoons so I can get some work done. So I'm nearly finished editing a video. We're just snuggling out here. The doctor's appointment yesterday went really well. Our six week checkup. Everything went well with Micaiah and everything went great with me, so. I am fully cleared. I'm really excited to start working out. I'm gonna cuddle here for a bit longer and then get some work done. I just got this in the mail. It's a first aid kit from Tiny Hearts. I haven't even probably gone through it yet. It's me cold from the fridge to soothe bumps and bruises. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I don't know if anyone from Tiny Hearts is gonna be watching this, but thank you so much. We got some goodies. Matching hoodies. Yes. Unintentionally, we both just liked the same one. It's cool. It's very like vintagey. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Pretty gangster, to be honest. Hi. Hi. Hi, Sydney. Yeah. Hello. We also finally. After weeks and it was weeks, and weeks. weeks, Gabe, kind of just before Makai was born, got a really cool film camera. These were our first pictures, kind of like testing it all out. Oh my gosh, and then this is the first one. And it's like kind of, I don't know, it just has like this like haze or blur to it that's just like so flipping cute. We also got to celebrate Gabe's first Father's Day here in Australia, which was really special. I'm still not sure why Australia celebrates it on a different day, but it was just so sweet and wholesome and it just makes me excited for Father's Days in the future as Makai gets older and understands it more. Jacko also came into town, which we were just so happy he got to come and meet Makai before we left. He was so good with her and Makai just smiled at him all the time. Our life looks so different now, but I couldn't love it more. A baby fills a place in your heart that you never knew was empty. I feel like I'm officially a sappy mom because that resonates with me. I hope this showed you a little glimpse of what our life looks like at the moment. I'm excited to get back to Nashville and settle in and experience my first real autumn, especially with Makaya and get back into working out. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon.